The original Martyrs came out in 2008, and it was an intentionally made movie where you either loved it or you hated it. In the beginning of the DVD, the director even talks for a minute about how he made this movie with the intention of pissing people off. And that is something that I think is really important in cinema these days. You had somebody who knew that this movie was not going to resonate with a larger audience. It was going to piss off a lot of people, and yet he made it anyway. Now, I'm not saying that we don't need good, fun popcorn movies and chick flicks and uh, all those. They all have their place. But movies like this, they push the boundaries of what you usually think of within cinema. What the original movie was was it's one of the most brutal uncomfortable unpleasant experiences you'll ever have in a movie this is something where it's unpleasant but it's meant to be unpleasant it's thought-provoking it's uncomfortable it's a terrifying miserable experience that again is designed for you to either love it or hate it saying all this i had heard a while ago that they were remaking it terrible idea Absolutely terrible idea. While they were working on this, the director came out and said that uh, he was not going to make the movie as brutal as the original. All right, red flag number one. Then I thought, well, maybe they're going to put some kind of different spin on it. So it kind of fell off the radar. Nobody heard anything about it. And then all of a sudden, there's an announcement. I think it was on like Bloody Disgusting or something. The Martyrs movie was already made and it'll be coming out soon. Whoever was pushing for this, they really wanted a Martyrs remake. Uh, It snuck out on Video On Demand sometime in January. Morbid curiosity got me and I had to watch it. Don't make the same mistake I did. The entire beginning is pretty much shot for shot of the original. But then when the shit hits the fan, they pull all their punches it just was so completely watered down actually aside from i'd say maybe two moments in the film it could have been pg-13 it easily could have been pg-13 there was one scene that was very bloody and then there was another scene where somebody gets shot with a shotgun and that was kind of bloody and that most likely would not have made pg-13 but trimmed it slightly could have easily been PG-13. And that right there is a massive problem because the entire crux of the original was that it was one of the most vicious, miserable, violent movies ever made. And the remake of it, borderline PG-13. Why are you trying to take a movie like this and sanitize it for a younger audience? A younger audience isn't going to understand this shit A younger audience, number one, hasn't even heard of the original. Number two, has zero interest in this. So I don't understand who they're trying to appeal to. If you haven't seen The Original Martyrs, I give it my highest recommendation. It is a brilliant film. However, it is a film that is not for everybody. It is a film that is not for a lot of people. So I recommend it and I don't recommend it. It is such a gut punch of a film that a lot of you would hate it. I recommend giving it a chance, but I apologize if you watch it and you hate it. But I understand. I personally think it's amazing. The remake, though, avoid it at all costs. If you don't want this or the original spoiled, bail and check out the original. The whole foundation of martyrs is that there is this group of religious zealots that have been kidnapping people for an undetermined amount of time, a very long time. And what they're doing is they're torturing them and taking them to the brink of death where they can tell them whether or not there is an afterlife. Uh, Essentially, it's this girl who, when she's young, she's kidnapped by these people and tortured, and she escapes. And uh, she goes to live at this orphanage where her and this other girl, they become friends. And 10 years later, the girl found the people who had kidnapped her. And so she goes and gets her revenge and then calls her friend and tells her to, you know, come help her. And so the girl comes to help her and, oh my God, what have you done? You've killed this family. On the surface, it looks like they're perfectly normal people, but then they find this secret entrance and it leads down to this dungeon where there's a whole bunch of girls that are captured and uh, they're just being tortured and uh, used for the martyr program. 
it's just vicious. They humiliate them. They make them sit in their own piss and shit. They beat them. They shave their head. They just cause and inflict incredible amounts of pain to these people to push them to the brink of death. Not killing them, just bringing them all the way up to the edge. With the remake... There was one girl who was captured and she's, oh my God, you got to help me. I'm I'm in so much pain. And she's still fully clothed. She has all her hair and looks like maybe she hasn't eaten for like a day. That's the length of torture there. Well, we're going to make it mildly unpleasant for you, young lady. Uh, In the original, they had found a girl who was there and had metal plates riveted to her forehead, was severely malnourished, was completely naked, just looked horrible. The one girl, they take her in to show her, here's what we're doing. And they completely destroy the whole movie because they tell you fairly early what is going on. Whereas in the original, you don't really find out what they're doing until closer to the end. In this, it's like, oh, well, look, we're this uh, super secret organization of people and we're kidnapping girls and we're, uh, you know, trying to create martyrs out of them, blah, blah, blah. All right, hey, lay the whole thing out for the audience, why don't you? You know, don't leave anything up to anybody imagination or anything for people to figure out on their own and eh, just tell us the whole goddamn thing so they show the one girl uh this girl who they're going to try to bring her to the edge what do they do they set her on fire okay and then uh they shut the flames off and they're like oh she died and her dress is still intact so they burn this girl alive And her dress, the edges are a little bit charred. That would have been the first thing to just go up in flames. She's wearing this little nighty thing. And that just would have, would have went right up. Nope. They couldn't even go that far and had uh, just a burned body laying there. Nope. They had the girl just sitting there with her head kind of, uh, yeah. Oh, and her hair was still fine. Like the first two things that would have went up would have been the dress and the hair. And neither one went. Just showing how much they didn't even try with this. The only thing that I'll give them credit for was that, and this is my one thing that I always say, if you're going to remake a movie, do things differently. Don't do the exact movie. Stay within the boundaries of what made the original what it is, but do things in a different way. For the most part, the first 45 minutes or so is pretty much nearly identical And then after that, it's just uh, whereas the original goes into the holy shit direction, the remake just goes into the this is completely stupid direction. In the original movie, the one girl dies and so she doesn't make it to martyrdom. So they take the other girl and they torture the hell out of her and they bring her to the brink. But in this one, the one girl, they're taking her to the brink. And then the friend, she actually manages to escape and then comes back for revenge. So then she comes in and she's shooting the guards who apparently are the worst guards ever because they can't take down one girl who actually was already shot and is malnourished and they know that she's coming. (laughs) But at least they went that far. But it still, it felt like such a massive cop-out. Martyrs 2015 is one of the poster children for pointless remakes. There was no reason for this film to be made. Don't even consider watching this.